What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com Back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today's just going to be a real quick tip teaching you how to change the background colors in your model. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is a model I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. It's the Condo Mountain Lodge by KD Design. Um, and so this is just a model that I brought in um, just as kind of an example, but so all of your visibility settings get stored in your styles. So all the settings that change the way that your model looks. So um, in order to come in here and change your background, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to adjust your style. And so to do that, you're going to come into your tray. Um, and if you don't see your tray, just click on window default tray and click on show tray to make that show up. And you're just going to come down here. And you're going to select the option for styles just like this. And so you can see how right now um, I have the simple style selected out of the SketchUp styles that are available. Um, and this is just one of the built-in styles. But what you can do is you can come in here and you can click the edit tab. And if you go to the third box on this list, that's gonna be your background settings. And so what you can do is there's a couple different things you can do here. First off is if you just want kind of a uniform color in your background, you can just uncheck sky and ground. So that'll give you just kind of whatever background color you have selected. So in this case, I could come in here and I could edit this to make it whatever color I wanted it to be. Um, and I could just make that kind of a uniform color. And just a quick note, if, if you're doing this, you probably want to turn your axes off as well. You can do that by clicking on this last box and just unchecking the box for model axes and those will go away. So if you go in here and you change this to a really dark color like a black, what it's going to do is it's automatically also going to change your uh, line color. And so you can adjust that by coming in here to the edge settings. So edit edge settings and you can just select a color down here um, to switch that back. So if I change this back to kind of what it was, which I think was more of like a greenish color. So if I go back and I change this background back, um, you can go into the edit edges and just select a darker color on here for your lines to change that back if you don't like the way that, that looks and so you can either have a uniform background color just like this or you can select sky and also ground so if you select ground it's going to give you kind of a ground plane just like this and you can see if you rotate below it since transparency is set to on um, and this box that says show ground from below is checked if you rotate down below it then it'll be like you're looking through a ground plane just like this which is really good for checking to see how much of your model is sticking down through the ground plane but so you can come in here and you can either leave ground off and leave the sky on or you can turn ground on as well and you can come in here and you can adjust those colors so if you wanted this to be a little darker uh, if you wanted this to maybe be a little bit greener you can come in here and you can adjust all those different options so you can play around with these different options in here to create kind of the look that you're looking for and then one other thing to note is if you come in here and you're working with your styles and you want to save this, um, you can either click this button right here. Um, you see how it has a couple arrows on it? That means you have changes to your style that haven't been saved yet. So you can either click on this to save these changes to the simple style, or you could also come in here and you could just uh, create a new style by clicking this box right here, and you could name it whatever you wanted to name it. So you could name it new style one or something more descriptive just like that and then you could click on this box and now what that's going to do is that's going to save a copy of this style um, inside this model so now if you go into your in model section um, your new style one is going to show up here in your list of in model sections you can either adjust an existing style or create a new one so anyway, that's where I'm going to end this quick tip video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you changing the background in your model? Uh, what else would you like to see about this topic? Uh, I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys, so I love it when you leave those comments below. Um, so if you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. In any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.